Hello my dear children, welcome to my SST class. Today we will start a new chapter from the geography and that is chapter 6 major landforms of the earth. So what will we will learn in this lesson? First of all, to understand major landforms or relief features of the earth, major types of landforms, importance of mountains, plateaus and plains and landforms and the people. Students, you know that our earth is unique because it is the only planet known so far to have plant and animal life on it. The environment of our planet is different from the other known celestial bodies. Scientists describe the earth in terms of systems called spheres. They call the land, water and air realms the lithosphere, hydrosphere and the atmosphere respectively. The fourth realm called the biosphere is found in the narrow zone where the three realms come in contact with one another. So the main question is what is the meaning of relief features or landforms? The variation in lithosphere or the surface of the earth are known as landforms or relief features. Earth surface is uneven in shape, size and elevation throughout the world. Depending upon their height above sea level and shape, they may be classified as mountains, hill, plateaus or plains. Although this relief feature seems to be permanent, but they are continually undergoing changes. Some of the changes are slow and some of the changes obviously are sudden. So remember, these landforms are formed by two major processes internal process and external process. Internal process means the upliftment and sinking of the earth's surface caused by earth's internal heat and pressure cause upliftment or subsidence of earth's surface. So the effect of the internal process or result of the internal process we can say uh, the upliftment or subsidence of earth's surface. Example of internal process earthquake or volcanic activity. Example of landforms formed by internal process are mountain, ranges, plateaus, plains, oceans, ridges. An external process involves the action of some forces externally on the surface of the earth. Some of the external forces include running water, moving ice, wind and waves. They act slowly and weigh down the highlands, depositing material in the lowlands. Earth's surface resulting in the removal of materials is called erosion, while accumulation of material is called deposition. Some of the important terms associated with the external process are first of weathering, weighing down of surface features and rocks by the exposure to to atmospheric forces such as weather and climate. Erosion, process of removal and transportation of weathered rock material by wind, water and glacier. Third one, deposition, depositing this material at other places during and after transportation. Some example of landforms formed by external process are plains and plateaus. So my dear children, relief features or landform kise kehte hai? The earth's surface is highly uneven consisting of many mountains, extensive plateaus and low lands or plains. So ye sare jo mountain hai, plateaus hai, plain hai, isko hum log landforms bol sakte hai ya relief features bol sakte hai. Depending upon their height above sea level, isko hum shape and size ke according classified kar sakte hai. Just like mountain, hill, plateaus and Planes. So my dear children, that's enough for today's class. We will meet in our next class. Till now, bye and happy learning.